It's now time for our next session, and trust me, it's going to be a good one. We can talk about the importance of culture and training until we're blue in the face. And don't get me wrong, they're absolutely important, and they absolutely need to be top of mind for your business. But no matter how great your people, how customer-centric your culture, and how robust your training, you cannot deliver a great experience if your agents are not put in position to succeed. If they are asked to deal with a convoluted, complicated, inefficient back-end and desktop situation, they'll never be able to deliver a seamless, engaging, omni-channel, relationship-minded experience on the front end. To put it simply, your agents cannot perform if they are not empowered to perform. Luckily, this does not have to be a problem for your organization. There are all-in-one engagement solutions that simplify workflows for your employees while giving them a full omni-channel view of the customer. They'll know what's going on in the organization, what customers are expecting, and exactly how to deliver the most efficient, most effective, most customer-centric resolution, resolution possible. You'll ensure that all the effort you're putting into recruiting and training and culture is worth it because the team will actually be in position to put everything to use. Your business will run better, your agents will be happier, and your customers will be more satisfied. To explore and showcase this opportunity, we're pleased to welcome our speaker, Wendy Mickelson of Genesis. Wendy, the floor is officially yours. Thanks, Brian, and um, welcome to the session on detangling the agent desktop disaster. So as you can see from this little girl here, Genesis is hiring younger agents in order to cut costs. Actually, just kidding, but she is a doll, isn't she? And she's our happy little agent here with her headset and her little red bow. I just love this little girl, pretty adorable. Can't help but smile when you look at her. So um, as Brian said, uh, my name is Wendy Mickelson. I'm a senior manager of product marketing at Genesis. And today we're going to talk about the state of the agent desktop and look at different ways to help detangle some of the mess on the desktop. I'm guessing if you're um, attending this webinar today, your uh, desktop environment is probably not perfect. Um, so I'm going to assume that most of you could use some help in streamlining the channels and apps and different tools that your agents use today. So I'm gonna first start by talking about my experience. Basically an experience that was not well designed. Basically everything we do starts with an experience. So whether it's your customer's experience or your agent's experience. Um, so I'm gonna tell you a little story about my first camp experience at summer camp when I was 10 years old. It was a horrible experience. And you have to understand, I was not a very confident swimmer. I wasn't very confident in the water. And when I got to this camp, and, and believe it or not, it was called Camp Joy, there was this murky pond slash lake that had blackish, greenish water. You basically couldn't see the bottom at all. There were things floating in it with reeds and seaweed and green gook everywhere. It felt like when you swam in it, it felt like a creepy underwater creature was going to, you know, tangle around your legs and grab onto you and drag you down into the, the depths of the, the pond. It was horrible. But they also had a do-it-yourself water slide, and it dumped into this murky pond. And it looked like, you know, Cousin Fred or Bob put this together, you know, with just stuff they had lying around the property. And it didn't look like this water slide. It, it was much worse. But it basically had these fiberglass pieces or plastic pieces that screwed together in, like, sheets. So, like, six-foot sheets going down the slide. And you would think, if you're putting together this water slide, um, you know, efficiently, you would lay the sheets um, so that the one before the next one was on top of the next one, so it flowed downward. But instead, they had the sheet below the top one laying on top and screwed in. So it created these very awful and um, very dangerous ridges every six feet as you went down the slide. So basically, as you were going down the slide, your backside would basically get scraped off all the way down until you landed in the murky abyss, the pond, the horrible black murky water with the reeds and the fish and who else, who knows what else was down there. This thing was definitely, definitely not OSHA approved. But this was my experience. It was, it was pretty terrible and it stuck with me for a while. I was basically afraid to go near any water sports. After that, I was afraid to go in the water at all unless it was a swimming pool. 
And so that's my hor horrible experience. And I think everyone can agree that it was not a well-designed experience. It was pieced together using whatever they had at camp, and it was extremely disjointed. So clearly my parents um, couldn't afford to send me to a ritzy camp like the ones you see in the movies, uh, but it all comes down to the experience. Now let's talk about the experience as it relates to customer service and support. And when we think about um, agents and all of the apps and channels and data sources that they use on a day-to-day -day basis, it's ultimately the customer experience and the agent experience that are most impacted. I think we've all heard these stats before, but customer experience is considered by most brands a differentiator. And I think everyone will agree that there is a direct correlation between the customer experience and increased profits and a reduction in costs. And I think everyone also recognizes this, but most of you probably feel powerless to, to truly impact the agent experience. When it comes to your agents, the experience is, is ranked very high. In fact, it's ranked just below improving profits and reducing costs. So obviously you want your agents to have a a good experience. And if you have all of these or organizational silos and systems that are disparate, um, it can be difficult. But if you can get there, there's definitely, definitely some good benefits to be had. So let's take a look at what agents have to deal with in order to provide the best possible customer experience. I mean, we can see from here that they're bogged down and basically drowning in complexity. Just look at all these different sources that agents need to do or use um, in order to do their job effectively. Um, let's look at the actual interaction channels. They're so numerous and they seem to grow on a daily basis. So just when you think you've got it right, a new channel comes along. Um, you know, just what, seven years ago, we started talking about social and no one knew, you know, 12, 15 years ago that social was going to even be a channel. But now we have to care for that, right? Then there's the databases with the customer details and the knowledge bases and the case management systems. I mean, it goes on and on. What, if, what about the collaboration tools, um, presence and chat capabilities so agents can access other agents or supervisors or subject matter experts for assistance on customer interactions? There's also the personal tools that, that help improve their performance, like uh, the schedules, uh, personal schedules or team scheduling, and then their quality scores and other personal metrics. And sure, some of these channels and systems and tools can and are integrated, but I found that the majority of businesses are just still trying to keep up with the demands of voice because, I mean, that changes every day as well. It really boils down to three things the engagement channels, the data sources, and the tools and apps. And over the last five years, we've seen the explosion of multi-channel, which has morphed into omni-channel, and managing the full context of customer inter interactions across all of those channels. It's all well and good, but I know most of you are still very focused on doing voice right, let alone the other channels. The two mainstream channels um, today are, are voice and email, as we all know, and they are expected by customers. Chat is very quickly replacing voice as the go-to channel and will probably, probably replace voice as the primary assisted channel with voice then becoming the, escal the escalation channel for more um, complex issues. But I bet the majority of you are trying to still figure this all out um, with voice as your primary and then probably a couple other channels, but they man might be managed separately or maybe they're managed by a totally different group of agents. So it's no wonder the agent desktop is in such disarray. Um, and then if you add in an acquisition or two, where I know a lot of you are, are dealing with that, where you're adding new, new centers, new locations, new systems, maybe several new customer databases, and basically you've got yourself a hot mess. It's just become so much harder with all of the new channels and the sheer volume of data. There's so much data and capabilities um, being required by the business and new capabilities are needed every day. The list goes on. So this is why we are here today at this point with the, the disaster on our hands. So let's look at some of the impacts of, of the of agent desktop complexity. Let's look at costs first. Um, if you ask any customer service leader, with their number one challenges, they will say attrition. Number one challenge, always the number one challenge. Attracting and retraining, and retraining top talent 
is a whole problem in and of itself. But if your systems are a complete disaster, then it becomes even harder to manage attrition. In a perfect world, when you hire an agent, um, the interface, it, maybe the interfaces are so intuitive that they don't e need hardly any training at all. But I'm sure that's not the case for many of you. Agents need a lot of training. They need training on processes, procedures, on different handling techniques, and, and it changes depending on the channel. But if your desktop is bogged down by too many systems, apps, and data sources, it just makes it all so much harder than it has to be. And some people have looked at hiring remote agents as an answer um, because they, they obviously there's less attrition with home agents, but you still have the problem of training. And if it's too complex, then even the remote agent program may not work for you. Then we look at the customer experience um, and, and the ramifications to the customer experience of the agent desktop disaster. Consumers hate repeating themselves. I know I do, um, especially working in the industry when I know it's not necessary for me to repeat myself. Or if the customer is transferred to another person or channel and then that information isn't passed along. If the agent's using just too many different systems and data sources and interfaces to provide an experience, it's not going to be a good experience. So has this ever happened to you? We've probably all had this experience when we call someone or, or a business for customer service. And usually for me, it's my local service provider. So I'll be talking it up with the agent, explaining my problem, and then they explain how they're gonna fix it. But what I end up hearing is this. And then I sit there for a while and say, are you still there? And then they say, oh, Oh, I'm sorry, my system is really slow today. I've always wondered about that awkward silence. I wonder if that's because the system is slow or the fact that they've put me on mute and they're jumping around the desktop from this system to that system, cutting and pasting, or maybe they're even chatting it up with a supervisor or another agent via chat application, all in order to solve my problem. It makes you really think about those, those moments when you get the awkward silence. What are they really doing? when in reality, they're probably bogged down in the swamp of their desktop nightmare. So how much time do you think you could save per interaction uh, by having all of that data at the agent's fingertips within a single interface? Could you reduce call abandons? I'm thinking yes. Um, if handle times are faster, um, then sure. And what about first contact resolution um, and reducing transfers? So here's an interesting stat. When agents were asked why they didn't meet their operational goals like handle time, more than one third said it was because they had to access multiple systems. Another quarter said it was due to repetitive tasks, such as having to enter customer data twice. And we know how much customers love to repeat themselves. It kind of ranks up there with going to the dentist, but maybe that's a little extreme. But it's interesting to see this validated by Ventana. Agents say they aren't meeting their goals due in part to the desktop disaster. So how many systems, channels, data sources, and tools do your agents use today? I wish I could hear you guys tell me, uh, but I recently heard a story about one company that was using 18 different systems, tools, and apps. 18. That's horrible. <laughs> I would say the norm is probably from the research that, that I've done is probably somewhere between five and ten. But even then, I think that's too many. I mean, you can have that many different systems, but unless they're all integrated and your agents are using a single interface, it doesn't make sense. Ventana says that 82% of agents have to access multiple systems to resolve an interaction. Another 62% have to sign in to each application. Uh, single sign-on has become a very important issue to many businesses because of all those sign-ons on all those apps, it just becomes a nightmare. Um, that's why when you look at a system that includes a smart desktop, desktop it's really important. And you wanna get one that's flexible enough to support new channels and systems. Because let's face it, we don't know what the future will hold. We need a flexible system that's gonna take you beyond today. So look, looking beyond what, what they offer today to the future. So, 
if you're feeling a little dismayed about all of this, you are not alone. Um, it, and don't feel bad. Um, only 8% have all channels connected according to D Dimension Data's recent report, and that just came out like a week ago. Um, I think this, this is very telling. Um, there's still a long way to go for a lot of people. Um, sure, we have lots of channels, but, but if they're not connected, they're managed by different groups of agents, you don't have the flexibility of an all-in-one system. So let's look at the smart desktop and see, what, how, see how it can help you. Let's start with bringing it all together. With an all-in-one system, you can bring all of those channels together using a single routing and workload engine. Yeah, not, agent, not all agents are well equipped to handle, handle multiple contact types, right? Some are great with text-based um, interactions and some are more suited to voice. But there are those unique agents in between, you know, the Nirvana agents that can do both, right? Um, plus, with an all-in-one all in system, you can set up your routings, your routing rules and your skills so that only agents with the best skills are the first choice for certain channels. But you have the others ready as backup. It's nice to have those others ready as backup if you're not meeting SLAs. It's also nice in that it lets you integrate your CRM system or other systems so that agents are using a single desktop for everything, for data, channels, and their tools, their workforce management, scheduling, and forecasting tools, as well as um, managing their quality scores. It also improves the agent experience. I mean, ultimately, this is what it's about. It makes it easy for you to train new agents, and it makes it easier for them to serve your customers. And if they're less frustration, if they, if there's less frustration on their part, it will definitely make them happier and improve morale and uh, attrition within your organization. It also helps to, to improve the customer experience. Uh, you know, it gives you the ability to serve customers faster with a more personalized experience uh, when you have access to those, those, those customer data sources at their fingertips. And agents won't need, and, and customers, customers definitely will not need to repeat themselves after a transfer or if they switch channels uh, with a single desktop because all of the data that agents need can be displayed within that single interface. They're not shuffling around on their desktop, so you don't get those awkward silences with the customer. Uh, you'll see reduced handle times and improved uh, customer experience overall. This is important, all at one, but not all at once. Um, the beauty of a smart desktop paired with an all-in-one customer engagement solution is that it's built to grow. You don't have to do everything today. So for example, you wanna add, you wanna start with a couple channels and then maybe add a couple more later, you can do that. Or when new channels come down the road, as they most certainly will, I mean, we're all looking at messaging applications right now and determining how we're gonna, we're gonna pair those into our customer engagement solution. You need to make sure the solution can care for that, care for the future, that it has um, the ability to integrate with APIs and SDKs. Um, you wanna make sure it's built from the ground up. Um, I'm just giving you a warning here that I've been in the industry for a while and I've, I've seen a lot of different customer engagement solutions that claim to be all in one, but they really aren't. They are basically a bunch of uh, uh, piecemeal solutions. Um, some are from third parties, um, developed separately, and then they put lipstick on it and make it look like it's an all-in-one. Um, they don't have single sign-on in some cases. Um, so you just need to be aware when you're out there looking at vendors. You wanna make sure you're looking for an all-in-one solution that was built from the ground up. And if you're wondering how to pay for this, um, you know, a cloud or a subscription model might be a good choice for you. Um, the days where you had to pay a massive acquisition fee for capital expenditure are gone. You can get a month-to-month cloud-based or a, a subscri subscription-based model with the equipment hosted on your on-site if that's what you choose. Um, and then you can pay as you go. Um, it's a beautiful, there's a lot of beautiful options for you now. So let's look at Citrix. Um, 
this is a, a Genesis customer and they were using a lot of different systems, different systems for phone, chat, email, fax, and self-service. It was really a mess. Phone and email were on one system and then chat was on another. Plus they had their Salesforce um, desktop for managing customer data and creating work cases which meant that they had to manage two completely separate incoming channel work streams or routing engines, which doesn't make sense. So they had one for chat and the other routing engine for phone and email. In turn, this meant they had to have a separate dedicated team of agents to handle chat. And so with two teams and two queues and two systems, it was really difficult, difficult for Citrix to optimize their staffing and uh, create overall efficiency. During slow times when few chats were coming in, their agents weren't fully productive, but they couldn't switch them to calls or emails because they were on another system. And then on the other hand, during peak periods, agents were struggling to handle multiple chat, chats and they had horrible abandon rates, um, which was impacting uh, CSAT. Agents were cutting and pasting chat trans transcripts into Salesforce. That's, that sounds like a nightmare. Agents basically had to search the Salesforce system uh, for the customer contact, then start a case, then categorize it. They also had to remember to copy and paste the chat subscription into Salesforce. So if they forgot, that would cause a lot of problems. And so this whole lack of automation was affecting their agent productivity. It was really a messy situation. So the challenge was to create a single integrated solution that would consolidate all of their interactions into a single work stream and then ultimately support multiple contact handling for their agents and, and give them that blended agent capability. So the solution was, was obviously Peer Connect by Genesis with integration to Salesforce and their own Citrix uh, go-to assist application. So with all of these tools combined into Peer Connect, they were able to improve their agent productivity by automating the chat transcripts. So that's all automated now. And all of the searching for customer information is all automated. It's all done for them automatically now using that single agent desktop. Agents can now focus their attention on the issues, right, on the customer issues, rather than creating cases or pasting chat transcriptions into Salesforce. So like I mentioned before, the awkward silence was probably going on a lot at Citrix, and now they don't have to worry about that. They can focus on the customer. Uh, they've managed to increase their chat productivity by 25%. That's huge. And now they're not no longer doing lookups, opening tickets, or cutting and pasting, as I mentioned. They can also he see who's contacting them and why. Um, a direct result of the faster response times was that they had a significant reduction in call abandons. They went from 25% abandoning to just 5% abandoning. That's huge. I mean, that they were they really had a problem with 25% abandoning, but um, I'm really impressed by that. And with the blended agents now, they're better able to handle uh, volume spikes in, in contact flow. So on any of the channels that they support, if they get spikes or peaks, they can move, uh, they can they can set up their agents with the appropriate skills so they've got those backup agents to help out um, during those peaks. And again, all within a unified agent desktop. So detangling the agent desktop disaster is possible. Just look at Citrix, they did it. And they're just about ready to add thousands more agents to the system. So just to sum this up, um, it starts with a well-designed experience. So I mentioned my horrors of attending Camp Joy as a 10-year-old. Um, and now I wanna tell you about what happened two years later. A couple years later, I was, I was probably like 12, um, and I thought I knew it all, and, and my parents wanted to take me and my sister to a local water park that had water slides and ponds and a picnic areas, and of course, my sister was like, yeah, let's go now. I've been dying to go there. Come on, Windows, let's go, but I was terrified. I didn't want to go there. I didn't want to have anything to do with that. I told them to go without me, but my parents insisted, and basically, they drugged me to the car, kicking and screaming. I think I bit off probably most of my fingernails on the drive over. 
But when I got there, I discovered this great water park and the water slides were smooth and so much fun. And I didn't get my bum scraped when I went down the slides. That was the best part. And the water slides emptied into this crystal clear waters that didn't have seaweed and things touching your legs. And you didn't fear that you were gonna get drugged down into the abyss. You could actually see the bottom. And I had a blast. I basically realized that the big benefits of a well-designed experience. So the point I'm trying to make is that even though you may have some preconceived notions about moving to a new customer engagement solution, and who knows, you may even have abject fear um, about moving. It, but if the solution offers a well-designed and well-thought-out experience from the ground up for both agents and customers, then you really have nothing to fear. And you may just find that the experience will get you the big benefits you've been hoping for. So hey, thanks for listening today. I really hope you've enjoyed my little story. Hope you all have a great day. Thank you very much, Wendy. Uh, really valuable insights here when it comes to, I think, the idea of creating a great experience on the inside so that your overall experience will look good to customers on the outside. Everything makes sense, and I'm glad that you really supported the idea of a better internal experience and a better agent desktop scenario with real-world solutions for making it happen. No problem. Thank you.